Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. I'm starting this video at Goliad State Park under the Highway 77 overpass over one of the park road park roads that goes to Jacala or Jacalis Campground where I'm camped. <clears throat> now we're going to go up here and get on a trail. Track man is going to go on trails today for a while. <clears throat> A little cool, not too bad. About mm, 60, no wind, a little overcast. These trails here are pretty good. They're a little rough in places because they haven't, they haven't maintained the pavement too well, but they're all right for triking. I've been on worse, as you know. A pleasant day here in Goliad, Texas, Goliad State Park. Oh, for those of you that may come camping here, they do have a grocery store here in Goliad. It's called Lowe's, L-O-W-E-S. It's on the uh, main drag, Highway 59. And their prices are pretty reasonable, and they've got a good selection. They've got beer, wine, uh, avocados, bananas, and all kind of produce and stuff. So yeah, it's a good little grocery store. Just thought I'd throw that in because I know when I go camping, I like to know if there's a place to get groceries nearby. But on this trail they have a little bench that's donated by the amigos of Goliad State Park. Amigos in Spanish means friends. <clears throat> what we're going to do in this video we're going to go up here and we're going to go in the entrance just like you were coming in in your RV so you'll see what it looks like and then I'll show you how to get to the full hookup sites because if you come into Goliad State Park and you go a little too far then you're going to have to turn around and come back to get to the uh, full hookup sites so I'll show you how to get to them easier yeah the uh, <clears throat> I mentioned this in the other videos about Goliad State Park the full hookup sites are $25 a day the Water and electric are 20, and then the tent sites, I think, are 12. That's my water bottle making, no, that's my sunglasses making that rattling noise. I got them laying on my water bottle. Let me get that out of the way. I can fix that. I can put them in my pocket. How about that? So that way when I pull my mic out, they'll fall out on the ground. Okay, let's go. There we go. Rattling spot for most of it. Yeah, there's about three or four, three more videos I want to do triking here in the Goliad State Park this one and then of course i want to do one of the uh it's, i think it's called the angel trail it goes to an angel uh city park city or angel city park we'll do that one and then i'll do one where we go up to the mission and i'll get off the track and walk around <clears throat> you know this was the mission trail here this is the Catholics and the Spanish colonizing the world. They colonized a lot of it. Give them credit for that. That's an old mission over there. That's a. It's something that ends in Zuniga. Okay, let me show you where we're at. This is the, the main entrance right there off of Highway 77. You would turn in there and then we just go right down here. We're, we're burning out here. Old track man can't hold on here. Speed limit's 20. And then you just come right on in like this. That's that building there on the right with the three arches. That is the place to check in if there's nobody out in the little booth in the center, which there's normally not.
Got somebody right behind me, but I'm going to go on. Yeah, right after you pass this booth right here, where it says all visitors and you'll know, check in and whatever, you turn left right here. The tendency is to miss this. This is the Karankawa camping area campsites 1 through 20 and shelters 1 through 5. And we'll make this loop. And if you just want to come in and go to the mission, check it out. There's a place to park right there. The little white buildings here on the left are the screened in shelters, and that's all they have of them. I think there might be a bench or two. Gathering firewood, not encouraged, as in prohibited. This is the park host side here, but they don't have a host on this side. So they might, you, anybody want to be a park host in Goliad, give them a call. Looks like they need one. Oh, there's one on the left, too. That's a big old thing. Well, that's another park host site. Hell, I guess they got three park hosts. They got enough. They got 50 amp. This one's available. This one right here. Pull throughs. Yeah, most of these in this uh, loop are, I think all of them in this loop are pull throughs. There's not a back end in this loop. Yeah, they're 50 amp pull throughs. So for all you guys with big RVs, how you doing? A little cool, ain't it? <laughs> Karankawa Loop. Yeah, I stay here. You can stay here by the month, I think. There's another one over here. It's available. See, they're 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 nice uh, spots. This is number thirteen, lucky thirteen. This one over here is number fourteen. That makes sense, doesn't it? And number fifteen. How about that? Isn't that logical? There's an old boy there. Got him a big old motorhome. How you doing? A little cool, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, the older you get, the less you can tolerate cold weather, or the less tolerance you have. So it looks like all of these in here, nearly all of them, are 50 amp and pull-throughs. I'd say every one of the RV sites, obviously, are pull-throughs. And then that takes care of Karankawa Loop. get back to the screened in shelters here but being on this trike this Liberty electric trike that I'm on I didn't show it at the start of the video because I've shown it in the others but I'm on a Liberty electric trike three-wheel trike and uh, it's uh, you can find out more about it go to electrictrike.com they make several different models. The one I have is called the Liberty Trike. And the reason I got it is it's light enough to lift into the back of my truck. And it's completely adequate for all of my needs. You can probably go about 15 miles on it. Maybe more, I'm not sure. Depends on, depends on how much pedaling you want to do. I haven't pedaled any yet. <clears throat> Maybe a couple of times. A little airish. Okay. People from Ontario, Canada sitting outside. They think this is summer weather here. This is like springtime in Canada, I guess. Okay, now for our next trick. I will go... Tell you what I'll do. <clears throat> I'm going to get up here and I'll end this video because that's all I wanted to accomplish was to show you when you come in just to be sure you take that first quick left to get for those of you that are going to the full hookup sites and uh, that way you won't uh, have to go riding around the park looking for a place to turn around. But anyway from 
uh, Goliad State Park. On, here I'll drive down here and end it, uh, showing you this other sign for those of you that are coming to the Goliad State Park. You'll be able to see once you pass the Karankawa entrance, then you come to this, you'll see this sign right here. And that'll get you uh, to the rest of the campsites. And this is a little picnic area straight ahead. I guess you can read that pretty good. But anyway, having said that, guys, from Goliad State Park, that's the San Antonio River right down here. But anyway, thumbs up, Carpe Diem. Adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small, never mind. It, it doesn't cost you a penny. And then uh, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, take deep breaths, stand guard at the door of your mind, keep your health. Because without your health, you're not going to want to go camping anywhere. So having said that, guys, from Goliad State Park in Texas, near Victoria, Texas, adios amigos, bye-bye.